guys, it's Elena, and today I have another cloth diapering video for you. Today we're going to be going over the Barely Pocket and Ultimate Insert. I do want to let you know right off the bat that the company did send these to me. Just FYI, I'm not being paid to tell you about them, but I was sent them for free for review purposes. Just FYI. Here I have their pocket diaper, and they call this the everyday diaper, but it's a pocket diaper. And I will show you up close and personal all the features on this guy so you can see exactly what's going on with this guy here. Some of the unique little parts of it that might interest you. So here are the wings. You can see we have vertical snaps with a hip snap and crossover snaps. I love me some crossover snaps. On the front here, you can see we have a nice four step rise. So this is the front of the diaper. This is where baby's belly button would be. Uh, you have a four step rise to make it smaller or bigger. Um, you do have a little um, snap right here in the middle that helps you figure out if you are in the middle when you are snapping on baby. I love having that middle marker just so I know if I'm like crooked this way or that way. <laughs> you do have a double leg gussets here and that's a cool thing about this pocket. You have the double leg gussets and the pocket is inside, you know, like the double leg gussets are actually functional here where they're going to catch any extra poo that may escape or something because the pocket doesn't start until you get to that further gusset. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you can kind of like see what I'm talking about here. In the pocket here, you do have a double open-ended pocket. I love that. One of my very favorite features of pockets these days. On the back side, we have elastic on the pocket and elastic on the butt, like the back side. So if baby has a explosive gross poo, this is gonna catch it. And then this is gonna like extra catch it for the back side. So that's really nice. Plus the double leg gussets. So like blowouts, this thing should be pretty blowout proof, honestly. <laughs> On the front side here, we do have a little bit of elastic that helps it dip down, give a little better fit on baby, a little extra movement for baby. And then we also have a great uh, tummy panel here, a nice generous tummy panel so that baby, if baby is a belly sleeper or just if baby's wearing some tight pants or something, this tummy panel is going to prevent any moisture from inside wicking onto clothing or bedding on the outside. And you can see it's like a really like floppy um, material, nice and generously cut here so that if you have a poo situation and it's like a gross poo situation, if you're spraying this out in the toilet like this, you're not gonna get stuff caught in this little pocket here. It's just gonna lay down and spray out and let the water fall and the poo particles fall out too. So love that, great design. So where we have this middle marker on the front of the diaper, you can also see inside the pocket here, you have a little snap there. So if you have some snap in inserts, you can use that little snap there as well. So this is their ultimate insert here. You can see it's a little bit fluffy, not like thick or bulky, but definitely fluffy enough where you know that there's some absorbency in here. When I did the absorbency test, I got one and a quarter cups of absorbency, which is my like very basic baseline, um, like bare minimum, what I want to see in an insert. I like seeing a cup and a quarter as like a very basic amount. I do prefer a little bit more, more like a cup and a half to a cup and three quarters, but a cup and a quarter is perfectly fine in my book. And it's going to work perfectly fine for anybody who has a light wetter or an average wetter. My last kiddo, Aaron, was uh, a very average wetter. This would have been totally fine for him, but he's four now. He's not wearing diapers anymore. My little guy, he's actually been pretty good with these. I don't think I've ever seen it uh, leak on him, but sometimes it can be very saturated on him. And he is 15 months old, and he just recently, the past like month or two, has started being a little bit more of a heavier wetter. So um, it hasn't leaked on him yet, even though he is a little bit more heavy wetter. Um, but it can be really, really wet when it comes off of him. So I like to add a little extra booster when he starts getting, you know, when when they start peeing a little bit more, they get a little bigger, and they're and they're starting to just saturate things. Sometimes it's nice to have extra boosters in there. Or if you have kiddos who are already like saturating some of their other diapers, this would be a great little booster to add in there. If they're getting everything else super duper wet, this would be really nice to add in a full cup and a quarter to boost a diaper. That's really nice. Or even like to boost a daytime diaper into a nighttime diaper. That's what you could use this guy for. So it has a bunch of different layers. So it has 
Let's see here. It has two layers of hemp and cotton. Let's see. Two layers of 55% cotton, 45% hemp, and then it does have four layers of 80% bamboo, 20% polyester. So there is a little bit of polyester in there. It's not fully 100% um, natural fibers, but that 20% and four of the layers not that big of a deal if you ask me and I haven't had any issues with it smelling weird or like being strange or having any like compression issues I haven't had any problems with it even though it doesn't have that little bit of polyester in there and I do have other diapers that I love that have a little bit of polyester in there like 20 30 percent and those diapers have done fine by other brands too so as long as it's not an insert that is like entirely microfiber entirely polyester um hopefully <laughs> It's gonna do well in the future. If you are watching this video in the future in a couple of years from now, um, ask me how it's holding up because that's always nice to know how polyester is doing in the future. But for the months and months that I've been using this guy, it's been fine so far. So these are $7.95 a pop right now. This is July of 2022 that I'm filming this and I know that prices on things have been so crazy lately so this could be a way different price in the future if you're watching this but as of right now it's $7.99 um which I think is okay you know that's that's fine yes there are cheaper options you guys know I love me some flats flats usually go for like less than four bucks a pop I love flats but if you hate folding you know sometimes sometimes you just gotta go with inserts right um another thing I did want to mention this guy when it comes out of the dryer it's usually still a little bit teensy bit damp and I do have to either hang it up or throw it into the dryer again with like my regular laundry to help it get a little bit more dry when I do dry my diaper laundry I run a full like heavy-duty cycle and then at the end I usually add an extra like 20 minutes just to get everything really dry and even at the end of that 20 minutes this guy is usually still a little bit damp so yeah that does bother me sometimes I really like diapers that don't get completely dry do bug me but um, I just wanted to mention that maybe it doesn't bug you but uh, I'm not a fan of having to throw stuff back into the dryer personally. In true mom life fashion, Bear Bear has awoken from his nap and he's ready to join us for the video, for the rest of the video. So these pockets are more roomy. On the site, they are listed as fitting from 10 to 40 pounds, which is a little bit bigger than a traditional one size. A traditional one size would usually be like eight to 35. That's usually how they're labeled. This is 10 to 40, so a little bit bigger, and you can definitely tell it's a little bit roomier. Um, it just feels like, yeah, it just feels like Bear has a lot more room to grow in this guy than in a lot of other diapers that we own. So you can see how close we are here in the middle, um, evenly spaced snaps. And then on the hips, he still has two more snaps on each side past that hip snap. So he has tons of room to grow in here. Um, he is kind of between the snap and the snap for the rise settings. And even this diaper is like still just a little bit loose in the waist. I could probably bring in one of these snaps just a little bit. So he has tons of room to grow and he's currently 22 pounds and 15 months old right now. So I do want to show you um, for stuffing this pocket, since it has those double leg gussets, it does make the crotch, I'm sorry, it's kind of like hard to show you, <laughs> it does make the crotch a little more narrow here, but um, because you're like accommodating that uh, gusset, you're like you're losing space with that double gusset, but I don't find it to be super tight. So I have, I would say I have like pretty averagey hands. I think this is a perfectly fine pocket um, inside here. It's not too tight, not too stiff or anything like that. You still have plenty of room even though you have lost some space because of those gussets. So I would say it's still very roomy to stuff which I think is very unique because if you um, have tried other pocket diapers that have that leg gusset, you kind of lose some space in there sometimes. So this one's perfectly fine for that. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I stuff it with a flat. So this is one of the barely flats. I'm gonna put it inside this pocket here. You guys know I love me flats and pockets. Um, and it's perfectly fine. It's not too stiff, not hard to stuff at all. Fits really nicely inside there. It works out great. 
So you can buy the pocket with an insert or not. By itself, it is $16.95 as of right now that I am filming this video, which I think is reasonable. That's a fine price for a pocket. Yes, of course, you can get pockets cheaper. Yes, you can pay more for pockets. So just, I mean, it seems like a pretty middle of the road kind of pocket price if you ask me. So would I recommend this diaper? I would definitely recommend the pocket. If you like some of their prints, if you think they're cute, if you have bigger kiddos, I would totally recommend them because they are a little bit more generous. Um, if you like that double leg, I said that's a nice feature in a pocket because you don't always get that in the pocket. Um, so yeah, I would totally 100% recommend the pockets. The insert I'm kind of on the fence about. You guys know I prefer flats uh, and that barely does have flats that you could totally go check out and I will have a review on those. Um, hopefully in the next week or two, I'm trying to do the barely stuff in separate parts instead of doing one big video and all the stuff. But anyway, um, if you don't like folding, I know inserts are going to be great for you. Um, I do like that it has, uh, like a Terry side on there. If you wanted to use this just on its own inside of a cover or something, it's still nice and soft against baby skin. And then the back side has the more hemp stuff, which makes sense because hemp taste takes a little bit longer to absorb. So when you pee, if they pee onto this side on the Terry side with the bamboo, it'll absorb quickly. And then it has time to seep into the hemp on the back side. So I think that's a great design there. I do like this insert. I use it. I get lots of use out of it, but I just uh, prefer flats. You guys know that. And I, it kind of bugs me that it always has to go back into the dryer or at least like hang out on the line for half a day or whatever before it gets totally bone dry. So if that doesn't bug you, then, uh, then these inserts will be totally fine for you. But just personally, those are my thoughts. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have tried out these inserts or pockets, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know what you think of them. And um, look out for the other Barely videos coming in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Do you want to say bye? Good job, Bear Bear. <laughs> Yay, Bear Bear. <laughs>